Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mathun. And in today's video, I will be talking about dual access chart. What exactly is a dual access chart? It is also called as multiple access chart. Typically, in a dual access chart, we combine a column chart and a line chart because this helps us compare two variables which are measured in two different units. What is the benefit of having a dual access chart? Dual access chart is extremely beneficial because it helps us illustrate plenty of information using limited space. Hence, it helps us discover trends and patterns which we would have otherwise completely missed. Without wasting too much time, I want to illustrate how dual access plot can be constructed using IBM SPSS. Let me quickly pull out a file. I'll go to file, recently used data, and here I will choose the option dual access chart. As you can see here, this is about healthcare data. I have a variable called as clot dissolving drug, the procedure of treatment, what is the length of stay in the hospital and what is the treatment cost? This data is about 10,000 patients who were given different drug and this drug helps dissolve the clot and hence clear the artery. And therefore we have three different types of drugs, namely streptokinase, we have altiplase, and you can see the third type of drug, which is called as retiplase. This can be used along the x-axis. And when it comes to the y-axis, I can use the variable length of stay in the hospital, which is expressed in terms of days. The second y-axis variable that I can take is the treatment cost. When you look at this particular data set, this particular data set is just a fact table. It does not tell me much. Question is, Using a dual access chart, can I pick up any interesting insights from this data set? To construct a dual access chart, what you have to do is, in SPSS, there is what is called as the graphs menu. Let me click on the graphs menu. You have a whole lot of options here. I will choose the very first option, which is called as chart builder. Once I click on the chart builder, a new dialog box for chart builder opens up. And to the bottom left-hand side, you can see different options of dual access plot. Uh, not just dual access plot, you see different options for bar chart, line chart, area chart. The last of the options is dual access. Within dual access, you see different options for dual access. One is dual y-axis with, category, uh, with categorical x-axis. And the second option here is dual y-axis with scale x-axis. So depending upon the nature of the variables, we can choose one of these two. Now, I will choose the very first option. I'll drag and drop this particular chart in the canvas at the top. As you can see here, the moment I do this, what SPSS expects me is to specify one variable along the y-axis another variable along the x-axis, the second variable, the second y-axis can be specified at the other side. What is the y-axis that I'm interested in? I'm interested in the variable length of stay in the hospital, and therefore I will drag this and drop it along the y-axis. This will showcase the average or the mean length of stay. Now, what about the second y-axis? I will choose the variable treatment cost. Again, here I will be plotting the mean treatment cost. The x-axis variable, I have not specified anything. The very first variable, namely clot dissolving drug, I will drag and drop along the x-axis. So this is what I'm interested in. I'm interested in studying the length of stay in the hospital and treatment cost for the different drugs that we have. Once you have made these selections, once you have chosen two variables along the y-axis, then 
you, what you can do is you can specify the x-axis variable and then click on OK. Very quickly, SPSS gives me the dual axis plot. Now, as you can see here, you have the none category coming here. You have streptokinase drug, retiplase, and altiplase. Now, I do not want the none category. This is a bit of an aberration. So if I want to remove the none category, what do I do? I can go back to my data set. And within clot solving drug, I can click on variable view. I can go to values. And here, I will remove the category none, as well as minus one, which stands for death on arrival. Once I remove this, I will be able to see a bar chart only for these three groups, that is streptokinase, retiplase, and altiplase. Let me click on OK, and then go back to the dialog recall. The very first option here is Chart Builder. The old settings are still relevant. I will click on the option OK. Now, as you can see here, there are only three drugs which are appearing in the x-axis. Earlier, you could see you had three drugs plus the group of patients who did not receive any drug. Now, as you can see here, the y-axis, the first y variable is length of stay, and the second y variable here is average treatment cost. Now, there are a couple of things that you can do if you want to edit this particular chart. What you can do is double click on the chart, once you double click on the chart, the chart editor window pops up. You can select any of the bars, right click, and say select this group of bar. Here, there are different tabs here, which will allow you to customize the look of the graph. I will choose the option which says fill and border. In the fill and border, I will choose red as the color. As you can see here, the moment I choose red, the color of the bar changes here. I want to have a different color for the line. So let me choose the line. And here, I will choose the option blue. Either you can choose blue or you can choose any of the other colors. I will choose blue color and change the weight of the line to 2.5. I'll click on apply and then say close. Close this particular window. And now you, your dual axis chart is ready. How do we interpret the dual axis chart? Very simple. Let's first look at the bars. And this is the first y axis. You can see here when it comes to length of stay in the hospital, the minimum is zero and can go all the way up to 10. The longest bar that you see out of the three drugs is corresponding to streptokinase, and it is close to eight. In fact, it exceeds eight, which means that those patients who were given streptokinase drug, their average length of stay in the hospital is the highest. In fact, it exceeds a week. So people who are given streptokinase drug take a longer duration to recover. When I look at the next drug that is retiplase, it is barely four days, which means that it is half of the first drug. So when you give retiplase drug, patients recover in almost half the duration as compared to streptokinase. So retiplase is good because whenever you give retiplase as a drug to the patients, people or patients tend to recover in half the time. What about altiplase? Altiplase drug is also good, but it is not as good as retiplase, but it is certainly better than streptokinase because the duration of stay in the hospital when a person takes altiplase is much lesser as compared to streptokinase. Now, this is as far as the bar as the, uh, this is as far as the bars are concerned. Now let's look at the line here. The line here corresponds to the second y-axis, which is the average treatment cost. 
when you look at this particular point here, it seems to be the highest, which means that when a patient is given alteplase drug, the treatment cost is the highest, followed by streptokinase. And when it comes to retiplase, the treatment cost at this stage, at this point, is the lowest. So you can see here the treatment cost varies from $0 all the way up to $30. On an average, people who are given alteplase, they pay around $30. When it comes to retiplase, they pay close to I would say around $22, in fact, $25, which is much cheaper than alteplase. And when it comes to streptokinase, on an average, they pay close to $26. So it appears that retiplase is the cheaper of the three drugs. In fact, it is the cheapest drug when you compare it with streptokinase and alteplase. And also the duration of stay in the hospital is the shortest. So what is the message in one simple sentence? Recommend retiplase because the duration of stay of the patients in the hospital will be less and the treatment cost is also the least when it comes to retiplase. So the cheapest drug and the most effective drug when you look at the uh, dual axis chart is retiplase. So this is how a dual axis chart summarizes extremely complex information in simple, easy to understand bars and line chart. And therefore you can derive very, very profound insights looking at the dual axis chart. With this, I've come to the end of today's presentation. I hope you have liked today's presentation. In case this presentation has benefited you, I request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thank you very much. Have a great day.